My name is uh, Venerable Rayvat Thero. I'm originally from Sri Lanka, uh, representing uh, Theravada Buddhist tradition. So I'm the chief monk, chief monk of Great Britain uh, from Sri Lanka. Okay. Thanks. So could you tell us today something about fasting within the Theravada Buddhist tradition? According to Theravada Buddhism, uh, we don't have such a thing. But after midday, the monks, like novice monks and higher ordained monks, uh, they don't eat. We don't consider it as fasting because we can have a cup of tea or something. The reason is we practice meditation. When you have heavy meal, then it, it will be quite difficult to practice meditation. Right. Um, within um, Buddhism, obviously, there's, there's the idea of um, having control of the body and uh, the mind and cleansing yourself of um, bad thoughts. Uh, can fasting be thought of as, a, 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 as part of the control of the mind and the body? Is, is, there, is there anything within Buddhism about the, the practice, perhaps, of fasting? Yeah, for an that example, point? like lay people, the lay followers, you know, the monks, and they have ten precepts. So basically, they have five precepts uh, just to develop the morality. But once a month, uh, they go to the temple and do a retreat. On that day, uh, they observe ten precepts. The sixth one is, I do not eat anything after midday. So I think the reason is, so after that they feel more comfortable and more relaxed to practice meditation and talk about the teaching of Buddha. Okay. So that, that fasting during that day maybe allows them to focus more on the, the spiritual journey or, or to realize the, the, the teachings? Yes. Can you think of any other benefits maybe that other people might have from fasting, do you think? Yeah, I think uh, you know, the one reason was 2,600 years ago uh, when Buddhism was you know, started. So Buddha asked monks to have just one meal because that time you know, practically it was difficult to, because the monks didn't work for money and they were just, you know, they relied on the, uh, which is given by the lay people. So it was difficult to, you know, just, you know, to go arms round three times a day. So practically, I think it's good for just having one meal, uh, then they can practice and they can meet other people, they can teach other people, rather than just pouring and searching for.